Hi all, welcome to Akshara's Academy. I am going to start with accounting for partnership firms fundamental and in this video we are going to see the definition and features of partnership firm. Now let's see the meaning of partnership firm. Before that let's just recap what is sole proprietorship. So sole proprietorship is where there will be one individual who will invest capital in the business and he will carry out the business activities. He is the only owner of the business as well as he will have the control over the business activities. Also in accounts you would have prepared the accounts of a sole proprietorship. Okay. So the accounts prepared by a sole proprietor are the final accounts like trading account, profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Okay. Now in this class we are going to study about partnership. What is partnership? Here there will be two or more persons who agree to carry out certain business activities. Okay, they decide to carry some business activity and each of the partners they will invest capital inside the business and carry out the business. So whatever profit they earn that will be divided among all these partners. Okay, this is called a partnership firm. So let's go into the definition of partnership. Here you can see four persons who are going to start a business firm. They are going to do some business activity and uh, each of them are going to contribute the capital towards the business. These persons are known as the partners and these partners they have agreed to share the profits and losses arising from the business. All these partners can carry out the business activities together or any one of the partner can carry out the business activity on behalf of the other partners. Now let's look into the definition of partnership. The rules and regulations regarding the partnership is given under Indian Partnership Act which was enacted in the year 1932. So section 4 of the Indian Partnership Act defines partnership as the business relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any of them acting for all. So the definition says that partners is partnership is a relationship between persons who agree to carry out a business activity and share the profits and losses and here in all the partners can do the business activity or any one of the partner can carry out the business activity on behalf of the others. That is what the definition means. The persons who have entered into the partnership with one another individually are called partners and collectively they are known as partnership firm. Let's now see the features of partnership. The first feature is two or more persons. To form a partnership firm there should be at least a minimum of two persons and these persons when they are going to enter into partnership they should be competent. This is given under the Indian Contract Act. Who are the persons who are not competent to enter into contract? First, a minor. A minor is a person who is below 18 years and he cannot enter into a contract. Next, persons of unsound mind who does not have a stable mind, they cannot enter into contract. And next, persons who have been disqualified by law cannot enter into a contract. The next feature is agreement. A partnership firm comes into operation when the persons agree to become partners, when they agree to the terms and condition of the partnership. Okay, So this agreement it may be in oral form that is by word of mouth or it may be in a document put in writing in a written form. Okay, When it is in a written form the document will be signed by all the partners and it becomes the partnership deed. This agreement is based on the relationship of the partners whether it is going to be for a particular venture or a business or it is going to be for a period of time. So the next feature is lawful business. A partnership firm should be started to carry out a legal activity. So the partners they should do a business which is lawful and business it includes any trade, occasion and profession. Through business, these partners should earn profit and it should not be any non-profit organization where they will only serve the society and its members but they will not earn any profit. Those are not business activities. Next feature is profit sharing. The partners, they agree to share the profits and losses arising from the business. This we have seen the definition also. 
but there may be a provision in the partnership deed that a particular partner or partners they will not share the losses only the profits they will take but the losses they will not take there may be a provision in the partnership deed next feature is business can be carried on by all or any of the partners acting for all so it says that the partners are the agents as well as the principals among themselves when they are agents they represent the other partners and carry out the business so the other partners they will be bound by the acts of the partner who is going to carry out the business activity as a principal the this person is again bound by the act of the other partners the next feature is separate business entity this feature it has two views one is from the accounting point and next is from the legal point when it is from the accounting point it says that the partners and the partnership firm are separate okay partners are separate from the partnership firm which means partners are investing capital into the partnership firm and in return the partnership firm will pay them interest on capital so interest on capital is paid to the partners for the capital invested by the partners this interest on capital is given by the partnership firm you need to understand this concept because based on this concept only we will be working out sums next is business activities partners they carry out the business activities in the partnership firm in return the partnership firm will give the partners the salary commission and bonus for the business activities carried out by them next is drawings so from the partnership firm the partners may withdraw cash for the personal use okay for this purpose the partners need to pay interest on drawings to the partnership firm so the accounting point of view says that the partners are separate from the partnership firm and when we are going to do partnership accounts we need to understand this concept properly separate business entity concept under the legal point of view says that the partners are not separate from the partnership firm if the partnership firm is not able to meet out its debts that is they are not able to pay the liabilities to the outsiders in that case the partners personal assets of private property may be taken out to pay the liabilities of the partnership firm so from the legal point of view partners are not separate from the partnership firm in this video we have seen partnership definition and the features of partnership in the next video we will see what is a partnership deed and in case if there is no partnership deed what the partner should do what are the rules and regulations okay stay tuned with us to get more updates thank you